upholstered, headboards, palette accents, kickback and Danish drive are some of the furniture trends that are expected to dominate 2017. This is according to the home of South Africa's best-loved furniture, case goods and sleep brands, Bravo Group, who have found that earthy tones are more commercial in South Africa, which will be reinforced by their imminent renaissance internationally. We need to find out what that means. To so tell us more about the furniture trends for 2017, we're joined by Bravo Group CEO Greg Bull. Greg, thank you very much for joining me. Thank you, Sam. Let, let, let's talk about maybe, I want to talk about what Bravo Group is and all of that, but let's talk about trends. How do we know what is going to trend well in advance? Sam, we've seen in the last couple of years, um, there's been a, a, a move towards sort of townhouse mm -hmm. living um, internationally as well as in South Africa. Mm. And our brand Graft and Everest noticed that um, two years ago and started developing a range of, of couches and lounge suites called the Loft Living Range. Now, mm. a Loft Living Range is basically modular, stylish, uh, straight lines, plain colours, but functional as well. Mm. And when we took, in terms of function, the consumer now has become a lot more demanding. And we have to have, add features to, to the, the lounge suites, so, say like um, USB ports, uh, cup holders so mm. that you press the blue button, your cool drink stays cold, you press the oh, red cool. button, your, your, um, your coffee stays warm, um, adjustable headrests, um, so, and then storage because now we're living in smaller places, mm. at the bottom of the couch you might find a, a, a drawer. It feels like you're describing an airplane for me. No, this is it. And then yeah. between pieces of furniture you might have a console yeah. where you store your magazines inside. So um, there's been that development and then the other big developments that have come through and will continue is in the recliner market. Now, we make Lazy Boy furniture. We, we license by America been Lazy Boy. Forever. Well, hang on. There, there's, not every recliner is a Lazy Boy. Okay. Okay, so it's, not, it's no, like no. not every vacuum cleaner is a Hoover. Yeah. And um, we license from Lazy Boy in America to manufacture in South Africa the Lazy Boy products. So recliners started off where you had to have about 30 centimetres away from the wall, the back of your chair, because you would push back. For sure. And then as, as rooms became smaller, they developed the incliner where your seat would go forward instead of your back going oh, back. Oh, OK. So you only needed about seven centimetres from the wall. Then power came into it. So you would then put a motor in and you'd press a button and you could go to various uh, degrees. Mm, yeah. Last year, the development came out where there's movement for the headrest as well now, you see. So from there, um, recliners, incliners have developed, so you, become, you can have a swivel one, a rocker one, and quite importantly, they've developed um, power motors now that lift up the chair so that people who battle to get out of a chair are virtually pushed right up so they can virtually walk away from the chair. I guarantee you that's something Lebo's no. not going to buy. She jumps out <laughs> of a chair. Uh, talk to me about the group very quickly, Bravo Group, and, and the kind of the development of staying ahead of kind yes. of this technology. Yes. Well, Bravo Group has basically got a lounge division and a sleep products division. And in the lounge division, we've got, as I said, brands like Lazy Boy, Alpine Lounge, Graft and Everest, I'm sure most of the people have heard about that, and Goma Goma as well. Mm. On the sleep product side, We've got international brands, Sealy, the, the biggest uh, bidding brand in the world. Uh, we licensed from America to, to manufacture that. We've also licensed from America to uh, manufacture King Coil. We've also got the Slumberland and the mm. Edblow brands as well. Now, to stay ahead of the game, what we do is we send people overseas all the time. In fact, we've got a delegation at Sealy at the moment, Sealy Conference um, in North Carolina at the moment. And from the lounge side, we send people over to fabric fairs to look at the various fabrics. And mm. at the fabric fairs, you get trend boards. You get the big fabric houses putting up their trend boards, and they've got what they call forecasters, mm. who forecast what the trends are going to be. And our people go over there to look at it. And then after that, they go to the furniture shows as well. China, America, America in Las Vegas, and High Point. Mm. Um, we're going to a show in Cologne next week. And, um, Mainly China and America is more for the South African type market and the Cologne show is more future looking. Mm -hmm. So we pick up ideas like that. Then we come back to South Africa. And combine all that. Sorry? And combine all of that. Yes, we combine all that and we then develop product with our retail partners. So we don't retail, but we develop product with them. Very, very quickly, uh, we're running out of time. Somebody's sitting at home and they've got to think of kind of the, the incoming colours, the great colours. What are the big colours this year? Certainly in the loft living collections, we would see plain colours, maybe a grey wall at the back, 
but um, maybe different shades of the same color, mm. um, nice textured. Um, in terms of other fabrics, I'll tell you what's important in fabric coming through nowadays is stain resistant fabric yeah. in various colors. And with that, now they've developed to such an extent that if you spill tomato sauce on the fabric, you take a wet cloth, damp cloth with a bit of mild detergent, you wipe it off and you don't even see a stain. There's also fabrics that have come in now that look very much like leather. Mm. Um, they cost half the price of leather and um, it's very difficult for some people to tell the difference. So those trends will continue, definitely. Greg, we run out of time, but you've given some valuable advice to my director, who I've heard on Good Authority has a yellow, black, and uh, some strange beige color in his lounge. Uh, this is one is for you, easy. That's Greg Ball, who is the CEO of Bravo, speaking to us about the 2017 uh, furniture trends, according to the group, earthy tones are more commercial in South Africa, which will be reinforced by their imminent renaissance. I love that. I don't know what it means.